If you've owned a guitar with a tremolo of any kind for any amount of time, you've probably had a conversation or two about tuning stability. Uh, as we know, any guitar with a moving bridge is prone to this. And uh, for the last three years, I've owned this beauty, this uh, Gretsch Streamliner with, of course, a licensed Bigsby on it. Um, and for the most part, I've had a lot of tuning stability issues. I love everything about the guitar, except for uh, how well it stays in tune. I've also done a lot of research online to track down exactly what might cause this kind of tuning instability. Uh, some people will say the tuners. Some people will say the nut. Some people will say the bridge. Some people will say it's your talent level. Whatever, right? Everybody has a different opinion on it. Well, after doing some research, I have determined what I think is going to be the best solution for my guitar, and I wanted to share the process with you. So, I purchased the Bricks Bigs Fix. Try saying that three times fast. I've already messed it up. Bricks Bigs Fix. Bricks Bigs Fix. Bricks Bigs Fix. Okay, I, I got it. Yeah. Uh, tuning Stabilizer. This is a one-man operation basically out of Anchorage, Alaska. I found a video of his on YouTube, and it looks legitimate. Let me explain to you what this is supposed to do. So his claim is the tuning instability is due to this really ridiculous break angle that a big speed gives you. So you see the strings wrap around this area, then they go underneath this piece before they go up to your tunematic bridge. And if you see the profile of that, uh, there is quite a steep angle there. So the idea is we're gonna lift that roller up and create a smaller break angle for this guitar. Specifically, this one's really bad because you can see it's a smaller uh, body, actually. So it has a much shorter distance to travel to ramp up to that tunematic bridge. And uh, because of that, we get a very, very steep angle. So I'm gonna install this. Uh, I watched a video of how to install it. It looks pretty simple. And I'm gonna share the results with you. So I didn't forget, but I almost forgot, what is a YouTube video without a great unboxing portion? Um, or I suppose this is an unenveloping portion. So uh, this, by the way, it shipped from Alaska. I'm in Indiana. This took about five days to arrive, so not bad, uh, considering, once again, it's one guy. And uh, also, I should mention that I have not been paid or uh, anything to, to make this video. I have simply uh, wanted to document what happened. So if it's good, I'm gonna post the video. If it's bad, I'm also gonna post the video. So we'll just see. All right, the first thing I get is a receipt, an invoice, and uh, by the way, it was $55 for the tuning stabilizer, and I bought one other thing that I wanna show you too. This is a super squishy spring by Bricks Bigs Fix. I'm not going to be able to say that without looking at it. But uh, yeah, I also wanted a different spring on this uh, guitar because it just felt a little stiff for me. And uh, wow, I can already tell that. So the, the spring um, that I have on the guitar currently, I couldn't press down at all. This one, I can actually press down a little bit. It looks thinner. I think it's going to work really well. So I'm excited about that either way. Okay. And then we have in uh, some nice padding here, the tuning stabilizer itself. Okay, this little envelope. And so what you can see, this is the, the genius of it. It's the roller, but it's on this little piece here that uh, will actually lift up so it'll uh, create, like I said, less of the, um, of the break angle. And also, he, uh, he put this on a very high quality bearing, so I can feel this is re really smooth right now, and uh, hopefully it's gonna allow those strings to return to zero. That's always the goal with any kind of trim, is that just that the strings return to zero where, where they were before you engaged the tremolo. All right, so that's the unboxing. 
All right, so it's been a couple days. I have uh, installed the Bricks Bigs Fix into my guitar, uh, and I've had a couple days to play around with it. Now, uh, first, let me talk about the installation. Uh, it went pretty well. There were a couple of steps that are a little bit tricky, uh, but luckily there's a video uh, on the guy's YouTube page that explains all that. Also, it came with, I didn't even see this when I showed you guys the invoice on the back, it actually came with instructions step-by-step uh, step how to do this. So that was very helpful because uh, this is a newer version. It's an updated uh, version from the one that he had on his YouTube page when he posted it. So that was great. That was really helpful. Uh, overall, I think the installation went really well and I wanted to show you. So as you can see here, the roller that uh, brings these strings underneath is actually higher than it was before. And I'll post a, a photo that uh, kind of shows you a more detailed view of that, but it is higher than it was before. It's creating less of a break angle. And when I first saw this, I thought, man, I'm really going to hate how that looks. It's going to be very unsightly or just, yeah, just awkward looking or feeling or it might get in my way. But that wasn't the case at all. I think this new version especially that he's come out with uh, looks very smooth. Used to the original axle would have still been under there, uh, under that area, but uh, now it's just that one, and uh, I think it made the installation a lot easier as well, and just makes it seem more professional looking and less MacGyvery. All right, so now that it's been installed, how did it actually perform? Uh, first, I wanna talk about just the general feel of this Bixby before and after. Uh, the feel is night and day. I don't know if it's just the new spring that I also installed, uh, the new thinner spring, or if it was a combination of the two, uh, what it was, but I will tell you that uh, the feel of this arm is so much more responsive to my touch. It feels a lot more musical, and overall I just loved playing this a lot uh, more than I did previously. So what about the tuning stability though? That's the big reason why I'm making this video, why I bought this product. I want my guitar to stay in tune finally. So I wanted to take a couple days with this. Uh, you know, guitars can be really finicky. I didn't want to just uh, give an initial response and not really know. Um, I'm going to play a couple of examples here.
So as you listen to the two sound examples, the before and after, I think what you'll notice is that I did have a much more difficult time getting my guitar to go out of tune uh, from using my trim in the after, after I installed this. So I do think it's helping a lot. Uh, what you won't see in that video uh, across the couple of days is that I did have some tuning stability issues with uh, my G string and my B string a little bit still. And I went back to really look at uh, how the nut was cut. I didn't cut this nut. Uh, and I refined a couple of things, and I, I do think I got better st tuning stability from even those strings. So right now, I am really excited about this guitar and how it's performing. I am totally comfortable going out and performing the, uh, with this guitar in public, gigging with it. And uh, so far, you know, uh, this guitar is $550 on the street. I invested about $70 more to it. I mean, paying that much for a guitar that's really reliable and you're really excited to pick up and play every day, uh, I think is a pretty great deal. I'll post several applicable links to this video uh, below in the description. Feel free to check them out if this will help you at all. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.